everybody, I'm back. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd update you. I'm not going to stay on too long because I still don't feel 100% well, but much, much better. <clears throat> I don't know whether most of you know, I would imagine, that I did test positive for COVID. Um, it's a, a bit of a long story, really, because what happened was, um, I don't really remember, but we went out... <clears throat> with my son to a Japanese restaurant for um, his birthday a couple of weeks ago. Well, he did have a back cold before he went. Um, he had like a cough and cold, but he kept testing uh, for COVID and it, it just kept coming up negative all the time. So we all went, you know, to the restaurant. And I mean, Mark lives with me, so I probably would have caught it regardless. Anyway, he, he sort of, got a bit worse after we'd been so i said to him i think you ought to go for a pcr test and guess what it was positive by then i just started with really bad cold symptoms um but i kept testing negative very weird anyway i did go um i think when did i go do you know i can't really remember i think it was was it last tuesday i've lost track of time really maybe last tuesday <coughs> i went and had a pcr test and um, I probably did it wrong, honestly. <laughs> I'm rubbish. Because I couldn't read what it told. They gave you these leaflets because you've got to drive in. And because everybody's masked up, they won't let you put your window down, understandably. And they come over with this bag on like a great big, you know, the, um, the clipper things that um, if, um, if you've got arthritis or something, for you to pick something up off the floor or what you pick litter up. Well, they passed this bag into the car uh, had to wind the window down a bit with it and the instructions were on it well when i opened it up um it said you just had to do it at one nostril but it was a really long you know the long test that you get when you used to have to do it in your throat as well it was a really long run with that so anyway i did it and it, then it said you had to put it in this tube thing well, it wouldn't fit in so anyway I did what I thought I'd done properly um, and they came back for it supposedly checked it through the window and then I had to seal it up and put it on the dashboard and they came in again with the long uh, grabber thing and took it away anyway I would say it was about three o'clock in the morning because I wasn't well I wasn't sleeping um, you know I had a cough and I couldn't get to sleep um, and about three o'clock in the morning, I got a message to say that the, the test was void or something, I hadn't tested it properly. And I had to go again the next morning, which was a pain because by then I felt really ill. So the next morning, uh, <coughs> I got up, it was a bit nearer where I went for the next one. So I went and went through all the same procedure, but then I noticed that on this long swab thing that they give you to go up your nose there was a red line on the middle and i thought i wonder if you're supposed to snap it so i snapped it and it fit in the tube so it was obviously my fault i'd done it wrong but you know the writing's so small on some of these things you can't read it well i can't anyway so anyway um i got a positive test um i must admit i was a bit impressed with the service um, my doctor rang up, I'd never been in contact with the doctor, but they did ring up to say I got a positive test and I am diabetic but I don't take anything for the diabetes. Um, I mean the thing is I don't drink a lot and I don't eat sweet things very often so I tend to push it to the back of my mind, you know, I, you forget, I forget that I'm diabetic really. Um, anyway he rang up and said he was putting me onto a virtual ward, which I didn't really understand what it was on about, but basically somebody rings you each day. They sent me like an oxygen, an oximeter, is it? Oximeter or something. Actually, we already had one, but um, he sent one out to, to, to do my um, oxygen every day, um, uh, three times a day. And they rang, up, they rang up every day from this virtual ward to check your oxygen levels and check what symptoms you had, which was really, really good. Anyway, the doctor decided to send me <coughs> an inhaler as well, which I didn't think I'd need. I've never had an inhaler in my life. Anyway, he sent it and I've used it twice a day and I have to say I have had a lot of relief from it. 
Anyway, it did get worse and I did feel a lot worse. I, I did try and do a vlog on it, um, a blog, should I say. Um, but anyway, um, I did, I, I was a lot worse, I think, than what I thought I'd be with the injections. But thank goodness for the injections, you know. Um, I mean, obviously I caught it from my son who I live with and they say you get it worse if you have a lot of viral load, which I probably did because I lived with him. Um, but um, I don't really understand all that. You know, it seems a bit far-fetched for me. Anyway, the good news is that I've progressively, well, I sort of got worse to a point and then um, from about two days ago, I started to pick up um, and I feel so much better now. Um, I thought I'd test the negative this morning, so I was really pleased. Um, and my daughter called with some shopping. She didn't come in, she just dropped it on the door. And I'm, like, I'm negative, I'm negative. My son said, well, if it's this test that's on the unit, you're not negative, you're still positive. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I looked, there was the, the other faint red line that come up, but it, it's not as prominent as it was. So, um, and from Tuesday, um, I can go out anyway, because uh, what you have to do is, it's 10 days from when you had the start of the symptoms. Well, probably I'd start the symptoms before I actually notified them. But anyway, it, after 10 days, you can, you can end isolation or, if you test negative for two consecutive days before that, after five days, um, you can go out then. But, I, and you, oh, can you hear that? That's my washing machine ending. <laughs> Plays me a little song. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go out till after Tuesday um, because, well, I don't feel up to it and the weather's atrocious, you know. Uh, we had snow yesterday. I don't know if you saw, I put a few photos on my Instagram. <laughs> um, so, um, so now I'm feeling a lot better, um, but what do I feel about this, all the restrictions going, I think it's ridiculous, um, you know, like, I mean, I, I'm take, guessing, they're thinking that most people who are ill won't go out anyway, but you know, if you, if you go out and you've, you've got, you know, a lot of the virus in you, I don't really understand this viral load thing, but if you're doing your mix with somebody, it's not fair to them, is it really? So, um, whether it's too soon, we'll have to see. Um, but we'll see how it goes, you know. We'll soon know, won't we? That's if they're keeping records. I mean, if you don't notify them when you've got it, they won't have any records, will they? You know, so. I have to say, I was very impressed with our local health service. Um, they're still ringing me up every day. Uh, and I have to continue taking this um, inhaler for another week, twice a day. It's a steroid inhaler, but um, I've never had anything like that before. So, I mean, I wasn't really sure whether I was doing it properly. I didn't know what I was doing with it, but I think I've cracked it now. I don't think I did it right the first day, but anyway. Anyway, that's my story so far with my COVID. So I just hope none of you get it. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to the end of next week. We're going to warn, as I told you, at Alverston. I thought it was Alverston, but it's Alverston. It's near Chester, apparently. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've never been before, so I'll perhaps blog a bit, vlog a bit of that. But I think probably a lot of the ladies won't want to be on the internet, so I'll do what I can. You know, I'm sure my friend Sandy and I won't bother because <laughs> I'm going with Sandy, uh, whose birthday it is next week as well. Yeah, she reaches a grand old age of 76, and she doesn't look a day over 60 really. So she's done really well. So anyway, uh, that's my little COVID story for now. Now, just one other thing that I just thought I'd mention because I thought you might be interested. Um, a company, um, it's, I'm not getting paid for this or commission or anything like that. But do you remember the um, the candle lighters that I got? Well, the, the same company very kindly sent me and I didn't, they didn't ask me to do a video or anything. They just sent me this. Um, it's like a six, oh, an eight piece cooking set. Um, and they just said, uh, I didn't have to do a video if I didn't want, it was up to me, but they were giving my viewers a 30% discount on it. Well, this for eight pieces, which I think is really good, is 12 99 on Amazon. So if you get 30% off, 
I think that's really good. Um, I mean, what would it be about? Well, it'd be a third off near enough, wouldn't it? So it'd probably be only around about £9. I'm not very good at this. I'll just show you what's in it. There's a strainer. I don't think they're very useful. A spatula. A ladle. A spaghetti grabber. I love them. A spoon. A pair of tongs. An egg slice thing and a whisk and this is a really good whisk because it's a bit like a Dutch whisk isn't it um so I thought they were very good so if you get 30% off it's good value if you want them I mean I just thought I'd mention it because somebody out there might want them I mean even if you only want a couple of them I think it's probably worth it um they're quite substantial there's no there isn't a rack or anything to put them on uh, but they do have a hole at the end, so you could hang them on something if you wanted to. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because 30% um, is quite good. I'll, I'll put the uh, code number and the link, or whatever it is, in the description box. The link and the um, the code for getting the 30% off, because quite a lot. I did say to them, well, I'll do a video if you send me another one for me to give out to my viewers. But they said... I think they've only got about 40 pieces in stock. I think that's why they're offering the 30% discount. So if you did want it, um, if I was you, I'd, I'd jump on and get it, you know, but don't worry. Oh, and another thing, I want to know how you're getting on with that um, latest deals app. Um, I must admit, I feel a bit disappointed with it. I, When I first used it, it was really, I thought it was really good because I was only really, I got like a lot of cleaning products and, a bottle of whiskey for my son and things like that and I have used it a couple of times since but a lot of the deals you go on and they're not there or they've gone up or something like that so I felt a bit disappointed with it really I think probably the answer is that you're supposed to notify the website when the deals no longer working um which I did a couple of times but then I got fed up of doing it every time you know so um, I don't know how any of you have got on, but I just felt a bit disappointed after that. You know, I think they need a better system of ending the deals when they're finished, you know, um, because it's so frustrating. You give up, you know, I did anyway. Um, I was looking for something. I can't think what it was now. Oh, I think it was a gimbal to put my phone on and I, I kept seeing a couple of deals. And when I went on them, they finished, you know, so anyway, I'm going to go now. <coughs> because <coughs> I can feel my chest tickling a bit again um but I've managed to get up and wash my hair today so that's a, a bonus so um I am feeling a lot better so everybody keep safe and bye for now